morning, this is Emma Rose in Books and today I'm going to film for you a writing vlog. I haven't done this for ages, I did some while I was editing Milk but because I, I wrote Milk over several years and so and my YouTube channel is only a year old so I, I haven't got like the writing process <laughs> um, and I'm starting a new project at the moment. I'm about 6,000 words in, I've done the outlining um, so I thought it would be fun to bring you along to that part of the writing deal. It's a bit different for me because when I wrote Milk it was a case of just kind of typing things out without really having a plan um, or uh, not a... I mean I had like va very vague notes but it was something that evolved over time so it was different to this where I'm constructing a story in a more I suppose professional way? I don't know if that's the word that I want but Anyway, up to now I've been writing at home, so sitting on the sofa, sitting in bed, um, and I'm quite distractible, <laughs> as you may have seen if you watched my um, my sketch that I did last week, that's very realistic, that I'm just any little thing, um, and even things like choosing songs, like I'm just very, yeah. And this new book is based by the sea, and I thought, you know what, maybe that's the secret. If I go to the sea, then I'm in the right atmosphere, plus there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> so this is the first time I've done this, but if this works, which I suspect it may do, then this is how I'm going to write on a nice day. I'm going to just go out into the countryside, um, and hopefully I'll be a little bit more productive. So I'm going to bring you along with me and let you know how, how that works. Um, it's just coming up for 10 o'clock now. I've been up since seven. Ordinarily we get up earlier, we get up at about six because that's when the kids wake up. Um, my husband got up with them because the baby was being a pain. She, at about four o'clock-ish, she comes running into our room and there is no stopping her. Like, you cannot take her back at that time in the morning because actually she's kind of half awake. She just doesn't settle back. And she, uh, her comfort thing is that she lies in bed and she pinches all around my collarbone and all around my neck, which I hate and means I don't get a lot of sleep. And I'm kind of used to that from say like four, half four-ish onwards. Uh, but this morning I think she came in at about half one, two o'clock, so I just feel like I haven't slept. And um, when I'm sleeping like that, when it's very fitful, I start having like anxiety dreams and stuff. So um, anyway, so Stuart got up with the kids at uh, at six when they got up and then I got up at about half seven so I feel a little bit human which is great because otherwise there's just no hope of me concentrating. At the moment I've just been getting all my stuff together and I'm waiting for my laptop to charge. What are we up to? 78% so uh, I might give it another minute or two and then I think I'm going to go because um, obviously I don't want to get down there and then run out of charge but actually 78% should hold me for a few hours I believe. Right, I will show you what I'm taking with me. So this is my everyday backpack. I use it every day, literally. Um, I've packed all my usual stuff. So like this, I have like plasters and moisturizer and lip balm and whatever. Um, I, ooh, and my purse in case I need some money and um, some Coke. This is the Aldi Coke, which is not really all that nice, but um, whatever. It was cheap, I suppose. Um, it's actually a lot better if it's cold, but um, I suppose it won't be by the time I drink it, but I thought it'd be nice to sit on the beach and have a drink. And then I'm bringing my phone with me. I've got my headphones. I'm going to listen to a podcast on the way down. I'm really enjoying Joanna Penn's new podcast, Books and Travel. I'll link it below, but it's really good and I'm finding it really inspirational. So I'm going to listen to that on my way. And then my laptop, which should fit in there okay. And because it's got a, a case on it, it'll keep it safe. I think that's everything I need. Look at this, it's so foggy. I knew it was foggy today because I could hear the um, foghorns. Oh, hear that? <laughs> I could hear the foghorns um, at my house, but wow, it's, uh, yeah, it's hardly like a beautiful day. Although I quite like it when the sea blends into the sky like this. I was once here and uh, the fog came down in a matter of seconds. It was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Like everybody who was in the sea, so they were like people on boats and, uh, um, paddle borders and stuff and they just disappeared in a matter of moments. Anyway, I think I'll burn off. I'm just about to see the sun. <laughs> I'm glad the tide is out because I wanted to get some pictures on the rock pools um, for a children's book I'm working on. So the tide is right out. <laughs> Foghorn.
I haven't got the shoes for it though. What was I thinking? Wearing Converse to the beach. Well, I think I can pick my way across it. I need to find some, um, some limpets. I find a lot of people don't know, and this is like rock falling with Emma, that these little patches of jelly, that's actually an anemone. Um, and when it's covered by water, all its tentacles come out. There's another one here, just in there. Oh, where is he? There. Just in case you didn't know, find a lot of them. Found exactly what I wanted. There's a whole load of limpets around here. Again, if you didn't know, it's these fellas, the conical ones. They, um, when they're underwater, they they actually move around and graze about on the rocks. And there's quite a few of them, so we can get some pictures of those. I want to find a crab for you. Can you see how distractible I am? This isn't really a writing vlog, it's more of a rock falling vlog. I mean, look at these rock falls, they are epic. Just picking my way along. There's loads to see here. It's just beautiful. Look at this beautiful anemone. The colour is just absolutely gorgeous. Looking for crabs. My top crab hunting tip is to turn over big rocks and there usually will be a crab underneath. These ones can't turn over, they're too firmly embedded. But Oh, what have we found here though? I see you. Oh no, just a shell. You're just a shell. You can stay. If you find rubbish on the beach, pick it up and throw it away. Another did you know, if you ever see these rocks, they're usually in, I mean this is chalk. Um, or is it chalk? Yeah, I think it is. Um, these holes are made by something called a piddock shell. It's a um, like mollusk that tunnels through soft rocks. Sometimes you still see the shells in there. No luck looking for crabs, but I did find a couple of limpet shells which I need for something I'm doing in this fella. Look at the colours of this incredible shell. Sorry, it's covered in seaweed. I don't know how well let's get some light on it. I don't know if I can get it to focus, but look at that. Greens and purples, absolutely beautiful. But so far we have learnt two things from Project Emma Rides at the Beach. Thing number one that we have learnt is that Emma goes rock pooling at the beach <laughs> instead of riding. Thing number two is that glare from the sun is a real problem and I might have to go and write in the shade of something but I will not be beaten, it's too nice and uh, the fog is burning off now so it's beautiful. Now, Emma writes at the beach has morphed into Emma sunbathes on the beach. <laughs> it's, um, it's really hard to see the screen and I have all the willing but I'm basically typing blind. I have no idea if there's any typos. I can't go back and change anything because I can't see anything. But I don't want to move so I'm just kind of tapping away. I think I'm going to have to go and find a spot where the screen is shaded. But it's nice lying here. And the fog has cleared now, it's lovely. Okay, I've moved, I'm now sitting on a bench. Actually, in many ways, the view's nicer up here, but it's not the same as sitting on a beach. It's lovely, but I think I'm gonna have to go soon so that I can see a bit better and maybe just be a little bit more comfortable. So I'm back home, I've eaten, I've been writing for a little while. It's a bit slow going today. Um, I don't know why, I guess it's just organic that way, but I also feel while I'm drafting out, it's like every sentence I write is rubbish. <laughs> I just don't think things are structured very well or explained very well. So I'm going on the principle of I'm just going to draft things out, get the ideas down, get the skeleton of the story, and then I'm going to go back and make it good writing. Because at the moment it just really isn't. And it's quite, um, I'm using a lot of overused phrases. Um, I don't know, it's just not good writing, but that's fine. It's just getting the story down. I still at this point don't know where the story's going. Anyway, at the beach I wrote about a thousand words. Um, I want to get another thousand down and then I've got some other bits and pieces that I need to work on. Two thousand words a day will do for me. Um, yeah, it would have been nice to do more, but what can you do? 
So I've written about 2,000 words, just coming up on 2,000 words, and I needed a bit of a brain break um, for 10 minutes. So I thought, I'm playing a gig tomorrow. I sing, and I play saxophone, and I play guitar, and I need to practice my saxophone bits because I'm not very good at remembering what I have to play. So I'm going to have a little practice. Um, just for 10 minutes because it's just a quick run through really and I only play little quick lead breaks um, and I'm just yeah I'm struggling to remember them so I'm gonna run through okay I'm gonna type for a little bit more and then um, I think I'm gonna work on some illustrating work illustrating illustrating work that I've been doing um, on a children's book that I've written um, I can't really share the images that I've done yet, just in case it all goes horribly wrong and I don't end up publishing it. <laughs> um, so that's what I've been doing, uh, chopping and changing between writing and illustrating so I can work on two projects at once. Um, yeah, I am, I think next month, I think in April, uh, well, it'll be the beginning of May actually, end of April, beginning of May, when I put my newsletter out for May. I think I'm going to share the characters, because hopefully by then I'll, I'll know for sure whether it's going to work, but there we are. Okay, I'm going to show you a corner of my illustration. <laughs> um, I This is meant to actually be stones on rock, in retrospect. Um, the background shouldn't be sand, it should be rock. And so I need to try and turn this into a sort of stony colour, otherwise I'm going to have to completely redraw it. So I'm going to try and make it like a brown stone, but it might not work, I might have to completely redo it. But when you see this book come out, providing it goes well, and you see this little corner, you'll know. You'll know that this was when I fixed it, or scrapped it and did it again. Ooh, phone. Okay, the stones are now brown. And I think I'm going to make the background grey. If it works, it might not, because the yellow that's already there. And I don't know how much it will look like rocks anyway when it's got stones on it, but we'll see. It didn't work um, because I'd already inked it in, the ink ran. I knew that there was a risk, but I thought it was worth doing instead of having to start again. So I'm going to restart that drawing. I'm only going to have time to sketch it today, not to colour it. But actually the colouring doesn't take that long. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm going to do my writing a little bit later because I need a little bit of time to think about the stage that I'm at. I say, even if all I get done today is 2,000 words, that's okay, but another 500 to 1,000 words would be awesome. Okay, so I've re-sketched that, and it's looking good, actually. Um, I think it's all going to be fine. What is this? Um, I'm trying not to be too weird, because the builders are walking past the window, and they're going to think I'm really strange. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do now is, because when you... Uh, so I'm using watercolour and fine liner for these images, and when you... Um, if you've done a pencil image... Um, and then you put watercolour over the top, it seals the pencil in. Really, I should probably use India ink, which won't run when you put watercolour over it, um, and then, and so you do the outline first and then you colour it in, um, but I don't have any India ink, and really everything here is just, you know, just cobbling stuff together. So, um, what I'm going to do is make my pencil lines really, really thin, I'm going to rub them out, um, so that I can only just see them, so that they won't really show through the paint anyway. Um, but it's going well, and then I think I'm going to do a little bit more writing. So all done for my working day. I, I work school day, so I've got to go and pick my kids up. Um, I'm pleased, you know, I managed to get through 2,000 words, plus um, re-sketching the painting, well, trying to fix it and then re-sketching. It was good, that was a job that needed doing. Um, I did a few personal admin bits of things, I managed to practice my music stuff, and what else? What else did I do? I did some other things. I'm sure I did. Oh, and I managed to get some nice Instagram pictures down at the beach and collect some shells, which I needed for a thing I was doing. So, you know, productive. I'm not quite done yet. Um, I might do a little bit more writing. I'm not sure, uh, but I'll keep you posted anyway. Anyway, I have to go and get the kids. It's school run time. So, um, sunglasses back on. It's a nice day today, and apparently the weather's going bad again next week, and I don't want it to. It needs to be spring. Anyway, good. I'm back. Um, I've got to take my son to his piano lesson now. Um, I was going to take my laptop and do some writing, but I don't think I will actually because my daughter's there and I can't really focus. Um, my middle child, I've got two daughters, um, and my uh, it's my elder son who's got a piano lesson. So I think I'm just going to take a book um, and see if I can do some writing a little bit later instead. I'm reading this at the moment. It's by a local author. 
Um, well, I say I'm reading this, I'm just about to start this. Um, I've heard really good things, and yeah, it's somebody local, so even better. <laughs> So his lessons are in a church, an old Norman church, so just walking through the graveyard and be quiet. And um, I did some reading and that book is so good. But the, um, the really cool thing, because my head's in like that creative space, I came up with a really good idea for the character, the main character in my book, and I'm going to rewrite a few sections. And it totally fleshes her out. She was really two-dimensional before, so I'm really happy about that. Um, anyway, I'm going to walk home and I'm probably not going to do any more writing, but I will check in with you quickly a little bit later. Okay, I've decided not to write any more today. Uh, basically, I ran out of time running around with the kids and I'm actually going out. So I've got some makeup on. <laughs> um, I'm going out to see um, a show with a friend. So that's really cool. Um, a bit of a spare in the moment thing because she had a spare ticket. I'm going to leave it there. As I say 2,000 words, would have liked to have done more, but still, I mean, it's okay. And I have lots of ideas to keep me going for tomorrow, which is always a really good thing when I feel like I've got more, like, that I don't feel like I've kind of written all my ideas that I'm kind of ready to write the next day. So, and I've got ideas kind of how to flesh out what I've already written. So I'm feeling really positive and really creative. Um, so, you know, happy days really, I can't ask for more. Anyway, um, let me know in the comments what you are up to, what you're writing, um, you know, your experiences, that kind of thing. I love hearing all about what you're up to. And uh, please like if you did, please subscribe for more videos about writing, sorry. I was going to do my exit, but my, <laughs> my small one is clomping about wearing my high heels. Mm. Have you got high heels on? Very good. Um, yeah, please like if you did. Please subscribe for more videos about reading and writing. And I'll see you all for my next one. Bye. Oh, those are some nice shoes. Very nice.